is Bitcoin going to $1,000 in 2018 or is it going to $100,000 in 2018? Watch this video to find out. Hi guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video, I'm talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency price predictions for 2018. At the end of this video, I'll give you guys my price prediction for Bitcoin and throughout this video, I'll make a case for it and give you reasons why I'm making that claim. If you guys are in the cryptocurrency market, I'm sure you've seen that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency prices have been going crazy. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you guys know that I've been trading a lot of altcoins in the past few past few days and past week because it some of the coins have been consolidating and it was bottoming out like Cardano and um, that has taken a massive jump. I think Cardano went up 20 30 percent in the past few days. So some of the old usually when Bitcoin breaks out, altcoin breaks out more massively. As you can see, Cardano went on a crazy ride. I've actually sold some of my uh, Cardano, which I've been holding for a while. Uh, there's other coins that went up massively. EOS have gone up massively stellar's gone up massively a lot many coins have got um gone up massively on ontology you got, if you guys have been following me you know i'm a big fan of ontology and i've shared trading signals on twitter and instagram and if you have been following me on there i'm sure you've made some good profits on there so one thing i'd like to say is guys thank you very much for supporting me I'm, I'm very close to my thousand subscribers so thank you very very much i've only started my youtube channel and i've already close to a thousand subscribers so this is brilliant news so if you guys enjoy this video i'll make videos on cryptocurrency price prediction trading signals icos and um, the whole lot really that keep you guys updated in the cryptocurrency world so just subscribe to my channel if you want great cryptocurrency content and and just thanks for supporting me and as a as a thank you to my subscribers i will be giving away half a litecoin when i reach my thousand subscribers if i have enough so if you guys are interested in this guys leave your litecoin addresses below and i will be doing a giveaway and also to be in for a chance to win this giveaway subscribe to my channel and like this video so let's get into this video now so Bitcoin has seen massive trading volumes. It hit record high. It, the numbers of Bitcoin traded in that hour has not been seen in any other time in the history of Bitcoin. So this is crazy news. Even at the height of 2017 when every Tom, Dick and Harry was investing in Bitcoin, these numbers were still not seen. So you can imagine that this is great for Bitcoin and it's good to see it. And, but what is the reason behind it? And the main reason behind it, what people are saying for this short increase is because uh, the increase in short positions were massively high. And this liquidation of short positions is the number one cause of this massive rise. And also some people are saying people that sold at higher highs and um, the really big highs of uh, December and January, they're buying back the big big investors with a lot of money they're buying back that could be a reason but i think the main reason is because liquidation of short positions but and there's a lot of articles that are talking about it as well i think this is an article where it talks about the margin shorts on bitfinex stood well above december highs as such there was an, always a risk of short liquidation and it kind of works like a snowball effect because once you uh, liquidate some short positions it, it keeps people keep it keeps buying keeps buying so that's where the price goes up and and the big big jump in there it went above and if you're into technical analysis you can see that it came out and it's like a good breakout pattern of where it was the the downward pattern it, it, it does a good double breakout so is it is it going to form a double bottom i mean i still think there could be another dip the price could go up to around eight eight and a half thousand nine thousand but i don't see it breaking out like massively and there could be one leg down before it goes up but that's just my thoughts um i still haven't invested a lot of money in big Bitcoin, I've still got money on the sides. I've been trading old coins. There's been few good patterns forming in old coins and some good news coming out. So I've been trading few old coins, but I haven't invested in Bitcoin and actually I've sold some. So the view, um, what this person is saying is like it's a short term bullish reversal has been confirmed, which is which is true. But there are a few things that I can't, I mean, I'll have to talk about. He's talking about a minor pullback to so seven to six, uh, seven, seven and a half thousand. And if it does and if there's like a higher height, I might buy into it because it will confirm a bullish or a reversal, bullish reversal. But currently I'm still um, not buying into Bitcoin. This is another article which just talks about prices going sky high. Um, 
and the trading volume record trading volume and that's what I mean price is important but you need to always look at volume when you're trading so if you're a trader you need to look at volume and as you can see the volume for for Bitcoin has been really high and it's record number of volume Bitcoin price jumps a thousand in 30 minutes. So that big blue bar that we've been looking at, that was a uh, crazy price that went up. And one of the other reasons, I mean, there hasn't been actual news came out for this jump, which is slightly not concerning. It's just strange because usually when there's a massive pump in the in the in the cryptocurrency market or any market, there's some positive news that come out in this in this jump. There hasn't been much positive news apart from this, where um. There was a report that came out, um, I'm sure I've got a link to it. So the fintech startup report concludes Bitcoin is generally permissible under Sharia law, which is an Islamic law. So it talks that so Bitcoin is halal in, in the Islamic law. And as you know, a big, big portion of this world, I think it's one third or 20 percent of this world is Muslim. And it, this is basically saying that Muslims can invest in Bitcoin. It's, it's, it's a compliant with their religion. So this is positive news because, you know, there's a lot of rich people in Arab and India and, and Bangladesh, Pakistan, Malaysia, those countries can invest in Bitcoin. So it opens Bitcoin up to a massive new audience. So that could be a massive reason why uh, that could be a really positive news. I mean, I don't know how positive this is. Is it as big as people is making out to be? What are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think. I don't think it's as big because if people wanted to invest in Bitcoin, they would have. Um, I don't think they'd think too much about the. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a religious person. I'm not a very religious person myself, but I think that's something that people will take into consideration already. So I don't think that's as big of a job, but it could be. So I mean, it's just opening up to the Arab markets and more money could be coming in. So it is a positive news. I'm, I think I'm, I'm not looking at it as seriously uh, as I should. This is another article which calls about which talks about the short term increase. But again, it could be due to the squeeze of shorts or liquidation of shorts. But the important thing to understand is the the view of the market because now the FOMO could kick in. The FOMO was the re main reason why there was a massive jump in Bitcoin, and this FOMO could kick back in, which could increase, which could take care which could make people change their mind on bitcoin and it can start going up and another point to talk about is the tax deadline and um, i think in america it's already passed and in the uk i think it's the 17th so people might be taking money out to pay their taxes so there could be some selling but after so taxes taxes and it's coming to an end so people might not be having to sell any in the credit any cryptocurrency they could be investing more money into cryptocurrency more money coming in price going up simple demand and supply and um, so educate yourself again I just, just just a quick reminder educate yourself on blockchain cryptocurrency fundamental analysis how markets work how stocks work demand and supply all that ja jargon because educating yourself do not listen to me or any other people out there listen to us use our content but make your own decision so that's just a quick reason so again it talks about tax and 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 the short re, um, the the shorts liquidation of shorts this article talks about the sharia law that muslims and islam and arabic countries could come in and invest in bitcoin but again it talks about uh, initial in, initial coin offering scam just you need to be worried about that but it talks about it's halal and then a lot of people in pakistan bangladesh india the muslim the Arab world, the Muslim countries, the Muslims in the world who've got a lot of money in Arab, they can get, they can be investing, and it opens Bitcoin up. It's just good publicity. So this could potentially be one of the reasons why Bitcoin has taken a massive jump, and it, this could be a reason why Bitcoin might not see the lows that I'm expecting. I might not dip again that I'm expecting. It could be just going up and up. We never know what might happen. It's always a risk to reward ratio that we make our decisions based on. This is probably some bad news for Bitcoin. I mean, I want to give you guys both the good and the bad news. This is something it talks about um, the Bitfinex and Tether to dollar ratio, uh, USD Tether, which I'm, I'm, I'm actually a bit concerned about. It, the USD Tether, if you guys are not aware, they, they keep the price um, against dollar. So and but they they print dollar as well, which is which is 
which is kind of scary and the way it works i i it doesn't make a lot of sense in my head so let me just read out what they say they are so there's a stable currency which converts digital currency to anchor to tether so it's like a dollar to so it's backed to one to one a ratio to dollar but there's been some scammy and sketchy things going on with tether and bitfinex and the relationship between them i'm not going to get too much into this but there it is of slight concern and you might do your own research i need to do a lot more research before i comment on it but this is something scary and could bitfinex be you know covering their positions with tether and could they liquidate bitcoin and there's some some far i'm not spreading fud guys but you know just do your own research but if you have got a lot of money in bitfinex i've got a lot of ripple in bitfinex i bought a uh, bought a lot in uh, from bitfinex i think i've still got ripple in bitfinex but you know if you've got money in bitfinex it, just be careful and as i always say don't leave money in exchanges if you if you just put it put it somewhere else you know have it have your own hardware wallet that you keep your money on but yeah this is something of a slight concern but again this i'm not spreading far do your own research maybe i'll look into it a lot more before i make a comment on it but this is could be uh, some negative uh, point for bitcoin some positive po um, this is again some positive crypto hedge fund says Bitcoin has bottomed out. So this guy is saying Bitcoin will not dip again before going up. But from my past experience of trading Forex and stocks, the way you know, markets change, I think there will be one more dip. Is it is it going to be a double bottom at 6,000? Is it going to go lower? I'm not sure. I think it would form like a double bottom before it goes up. Or at least there will be a big, there will be a dip before it goes but this Pantera Capital Management, obviously they're experienced people, but they're invested in Bitcoin. So obviously there might be some hidden agenda there, but it's good to see that people are talking about Bitcoin and that it's going to be, it's going to be going up. <sighs> now the finally uh, Wall Street, there's some big money coming in. A lot of people are investing in Bitcoin. The, George Soros, the guy who messed up Bank of England, the guy who kind of took a took against pound, a crashed pounds. He's a powerful, powerful guy. He's a scary guy as well, and he's getting involved in Bitcoin. So you can imagine if he's getting involved in Bitcoin, some serious, serious money are coming in. There's some Wall Street money come came in, but this guy's money coming in is on another level. So if these guys are actually investing, or he might already be invested in it, he could have a massive impact on Bitcoin price, and it's all positive news if if these guys are investing in bitcoin guys bitcoin price will go up massively it just talks about george source why eight billion eight billion pound worth source is investing in bitcoin and cryptocurrency he has previously called bitcoin a bubble now he's investing in it is he going to drive the prices up and crash it i don't know but watch out guys watch this space but this is going to have a good impact on the bitcoin bitcoin price uh, first source now Rockefeller. So it's not just sources. Uh, people in the Wall Street institutional money is coming in, and when institutional money comes in, the price goes up. The FOMO kicks in. Everyone starts investing. Bitcoin could reach fifty thousand, hundred thousand, as some people are predicting. I'm, I don't think it will reach hundred thousand. I'm already giving away a lot of my prediction. But yes, I mean some people are predicting. Some senior people, people a lot smarter than me, are predicting a hundred thousand. But as you can see, guys, Soros. Rockefellers and Wall Street are investing in Bitcoin and they're coming into cryptocurrency so we need to watch this space and this is overall it's good news that this rich people are coming in with a lot of money into Bitcoin and this will make Bitcoin uh, a lot more safer industry the more wall street and institutional money come into bitcoin it will make a lot safer investment people from the outside who are a bit skeptical about investing in bitcoin will think oh look rockefeller's investing jot source is investing i can put some money in and that's what we need we need the kind of upper middle class or upper upper class rich middle-aged people that have a lot of money investing in bitcoin and that's when the price will go up what is again this is this is another article talks about the tax day so there's a lot of news that positive roll on news coming out you know when the price crashed it was all like far one bad news after one bad news after one illegal, illegal people banning bitcoin just bad news after bad news now there are a lot of good news after good news so this could have a positive impact 
on the cryptocurrency market and another thing that i've already talked about is consensus last time this happened i've made a video around this why i think cryptocurrency will go up but consensus is a massive annual blockchain techno technology summit conference where investors retailers coming people pay crazy amounts of money to come here to to network with people with a lot of money and get investments so this is a really good time and in in the previous when it happened bitcoin prices skyrocketed so this this is another positive thing why i think bitcoin could go up during mid-year i'm not saying it will go now or in a month or a week's time but overall in 2018 i think it will go up and finally guys trends history tends to repeat itself a lot we are human beings that trade the markets and history always tend to repeat itself if you if you go back up to 2014 big jump in october november december time crash in january if you go back to january 15 it's not as big but you can see that it, it was slightly higher and it dropped in january if you go back to um 2016 you'll see that it went up let me get the right is this the right can we sorry guys let me just scroll into the right section that i'm trying to show you so in 2016 guys i i believe the same thing happened actually 2016 there wasn't much change let's see what happened in 2017 in 2017 there was a dip in january and we all know what happened in 2018 guys in 2018 there was a massive crash so history could repeat itself it happened in 2016 it happened in 2015 it happened it happened in 2014 could it happen again history always tend to repeat itself so there's a good chance it could happen again what is my prediction my prediction would be that Bitcoin and crypto Bitcoin could go for all the reasons I've said Bitcoin my prediction has all, always been like about 50 60,000 mark that is realistic if 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 everything goes well unless there's more banning but regulation could be good regulation could be a good thing but again we don't know what what the new what with the news and what will happen but understanding the market and the market sentiment and, and new investors coming in like Wall Street bitcoin could hit 50 60 thousand easily and i'm not saying invest in bitcoin um and price could go down for the next two weeks overall the long-term vision for bitcoin i'm very bullish on and i always say have a big port big portfolio of your money in bitcoin but overall long term i'm saying bitcoin 50 60 thousand in 2018 but short term it could even dip to you know five thousand before the massive bull run that we're all expecting all the money that's expected expected to come into bitcoin there could be one more dip or it could not be one more dip but that's just my thoughts guys what are your thoughts do you think bitcoin will crash before it goes up do you think bitcoin will just go on a massive bull run do you think bitcoin will go to a hundred thousand or do you think bitcoin will go to a thousand i do not think bitcoin will go to a thousand or bitcoin everything be everything will just be doomed and bitcoin won't exist i do not think that but if there's more fud more bad news more um hacks or you know tether or if there's stuff like bitconnect scams going on it will have an effect or if countries banning bitcoin i don't think they will there's always a way out and they'll their countries are understanding the uh, importance and how power of blockchain so i don't think it will happen overall i think bitcoin will hit around 50 60,000. overall i'm massively bullish it's difficult to uh, price predict but that would be my expectation it's just my thoughts guys this is not investment advice these are just my thoughts use this advice and make your own decisions so thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate your help if you guys have enjoyed this video guys smash that like button share it with your friends on family on twitter facebook or word of mouth and subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you guys soon with another great video